determination of number of particles of water of crystallization in borax. Weigh an empty crucible, then record the weight. Weigh one gram of borax, then place it in the crucible. Place the crucible in the drying oven at a temperature of 130 degrees Celsius for half an hour. Move the crucible from the oven to the desiccator using the crucible holder for cooling. Weigh the crucible containing the anhydrous borax, then record the weight. And now you should calculate the number of particles of water of crystallization in borax. Write the values of the inputs and outputs of the process. The weight of the empty crucible takes sign W1 and equals to 21.254 grams. The weight of the crucible when it contains the borax after placing it in the drying oven takes sign W2 and equals to 21.781 grams. The weight of the anhydrous borax takes sign W4 and equals 0.527 gram. The dehydration equation of borax is as follows. Given that the letter X represents the number of particles of water of crystallization in borax we wish to calculate, now perform the material balance as follows. Write the values of the inputs and outputs of the process. The molecular weight of the anhydrous borax takes sign MWT4 and equals to 201.22. The weight of the hydrated borax takes sign W3 and equals 1 gram. The weight of the anhydrous borax takes sign W4 and equals 0.527 gram. By substitution in the previous equation, we conclude that the number of particles of water of crystallization approximately equals to 10.